Hey, welcome back. <sighs> what a day. Ray, what's the matter? Something happened, didn't it? I've never heard you sigh like that. Yeah. The bus I was on got hijacked, if you can believe it. A bus jacking? Some junkie robbed a bank two days ago, and I guess he wanted to try taking on a bus today. I didn't think this kind of thing happened here. <laughs> so you were already riding the bus when the hijacker got on? Yeah. And in the end, the guy freaked out, jumped off the bus, and got hit by a car. Did he die? Yeah, probably. I couldn't really stick around to see what happened to him. You know, hmm? it's a little hard to believe that that was all a coincidence, don't you think? What do you mean? Think about it. You got on that bus because you were investigating someone, right? And now you're telling me that this criminal is most likely dead. Doesn't that suggest that you... That's enough. <laughs> Look, darling, you and I know you used to be one of the best agents in the FBI, but now you're my fiancé, Naomi. We talked about this. You're not an agent anymore, so just leave it alone. But... You wouldn't get involved with the Kira case, and you wouldn't do anything dangerous. That's what you promised when we decided you'd come with me so I could meet your parents in Japan. You do remember that, don't you? Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just force of habit. Sorry about that. No, I... I should be sorry. Let's forget about it. Anyway, once we have a few kids running around, you'll probably be so busy you'll forget you were ever an agent. Your mind will be occupied with better things, too. More importantly, tell me how I can convince your dad I'm worthy of his daughter. Kira doesn't scare me half as much as he does. 